Hello everybody, my name is Guzo9000 and I'm going to talk about this software, Construct2, because it is the best software on the planet of making video games if you're a newbie video game designer who doesn't like doing this. Watch, you don't like doing this. Wait for it. Wait for it. You don't like doing wait. Wait for it. Wait. Opening. Wait. Uh, text document. Yeah. Okay. Open up. Open up. Open the document. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And when you don't like doing exactly this, wait for it. Printing <laughs> a lot of code that's stupid and stuff. Blah. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so. So I'm gonna close that. How do I hell do I throw my own thing? Okay, discard. So it's very easy to create video games, custom video games. So first off, what we want to do is we're gonna open up the Construct Two because that's extremely obvious. Uh, hopefully you're still here because I'm gonna teach you some pretty useful things. So, oh, Construct Two. I forgot to tell you this. So you can get Construct Two on Steam. Just search up Construct Two on Steam. Or you can somehow find it on the internet. I heard you can do that. I don't know. So, this is the start sheet. Right here, it does not matter. Um, I want to do properties bar. Add the properties bar if it doesn't already start with the properties bar, which is right here. So, we, you, on project examples, it shows some pretty cool project examples. Like, whoa, all this. Examples, and these are two good examples or something like that. So, what you want to do is you want to exit out of that. Open up a new project bar. Open! You can name it. I'm gonna call this one Blob Wars. So, kept looks on 0 0.0.1 or something. 0.2, no, point 0.1. Okay, so, uh, description, dirt. You don't have to follow this. You can just do whatever you want to this. Author, use 09000, because that's my name. Derp at gmail.com because that's not my gmail it isn't believe me correctly and then youtube.com boom and blah 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 so first off with the basics windows size oh yeah uh... let me try this again uh... so when you click the background you can go to the main layout so if you're confused and stuff blah you can add or edit effects which are basically blah blahs doesn't matter we don't care about that what we undo is view you can name it everything blah blah you can you can do you see these lines right here these are the window size basically what the window is what the people are seeing on the window and when you click the background you can do the size of the whole like level which is pretty cool so event sheet is basically like the sheet of code. It's basically like easy code, like very easy to do code. So what you want to do first is enter insert a new object, a sprite. A sprite is very important because you can use characters or something. So if you already made a, a like a picture for the character on some weird website or like paint.net or something, you can upload it or you can draw it literally from the software. So I'm gonna draw a huge blob. I'm gonna call him Blob Man. He looks like a a slime. I'm just gonna do like blob. Boop boop boop. Blob Man. Cause he's very green and blobby. Voila! There you go. Blob Man is right in front of you. So double click it to open it. I forgot to tell you that. Crop it right there is very important. So crop it. So first off, I'm going on this video. I'm going to talk about main, you know, objectives of the like basically how to use it. So first off, when you click him, you can actually add a behavior. You want to add scroll to, which is very important. So the screen scrolls along with your character. You can add platform, and if you want to do like a little like a fighter where you have two players I mean I'll get to that later but basically this is how you want to make a like a scroll along Mario type game so once if you want to make objects do not like a floor just do another sprite blah you have a green floor 
Boom! You have lots of green floors that you can hop around on or something like that. Boom. Okay, so now that you have an area to jump on, you want to click the floor and you want to add a solid behavior because, you know, so your dude is solid. So, like, the floor is solid. So, after that, you can actually click play and guess what happens, everybody? It opens up in a new tab on... At, for some reason, it doesn't work for me on um, internet, my Internet Explorer, so... If it works for your Internet Explorer, that means you have a newer computer than I am. I do. But, you know, that's good for you. But I use Firefox because internet doesn't work for me. So, after you did that, uh, I have, like... I got five minutes left. Actually, I got, like, four minutes left. So, that's enough time to show you this real quick. So... If you want to make your character turn around and, and face the other area while you're walking to the left instead of just backing up, this is what you do because this is also a basic movement. So once you go, this is what this is when we're gonna start using eventually because eventually it's extremely easy. So you want to add an event by clicking that button right there. You're gonna click sprite. I mean, you're actually no, my bad. Forget that right now. You want to insert a new object and you have to insert this before you can do what I was about to tell you keyboard and then you have to wait four seconds as you can see on the top two one boom now you can go to the event sheet and now there's a keyboard inside of the event sheet so open keyboard just click next and on key pressed do exactly this click to the right okay done because my character is facing to the right, you have to do on right key pressed. You set mirrored to not mirrored. Done. This is very important because because I'm about to do that to the opposite, and it's going to be mirrored. And if you try turning to the left, then so you want to do the same thing, but then and you have to do left arrow. Okay, done. You're gonna add an action to that sprite. Set mirrored to mirrored. So what that basically did was, when you press the right arrow, it doesn't mirror. But then when you press the left arrow and it starts talk walking to the left, it mirrors. The reason we did the right arrow is because after you press left arrow, if if you don't have the top one right here, right here then you wouldn't be able to turn back so what that basically did is exactly this I'm walking I'm walking sorry for the leg turns around goes the other way turns around goes the other way which is very very good when you want to make a fun platformer so that's basically all I'm going to show you in this video I hope you liked the video don't rate because that's stupid. I don't feel like saying rate. But basically, subscribe. That's all I really want. Comment if you can. Say, cool, I'll, I'll use this software someday. I might even use it right now. Please don't hate me for some random reason. I didn't do anything bad to you. You're the one who felt like watching my video. So I, I really hope you enjoy enjoyed. And all I really want is a lot of subscribers. Because I right now, I currently have zero subscribers. <laughs> and you, I don't even know how you'd be able to 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 watch it so that's basically it if you want to make a game like this hop 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 go ahead and download this lucky Taka make a boss so I hope you enjoyed